First, I want to say R.I.P. Rest in peace, King Von. What can we learn from this situation? What we can learn is change. The need for change. The need for evolution. Now, I am going to contradict myself a few times in this video. But that's okay. I'm human. That's what we do. Number one, I want to say... When your favorite rappers say they don't change when they get money and they stay the same, Lil Baby actually said this. Um, I think it was called, uh, I forgot the name of the song. Gunna was in it, it was a great song. But at the end of the day, are you willing to trade your life for the fact that you can say you never changed, you kept it real? You did the same thing that you would have did five years ago 10 years ago 15 years ago now i will say this king von was a very talented artist he freestyled a lot of his music i believe my favorite song by him was war with us and then cousins then grandson love this music but what i did not love about king von was that he had that same very similar i'm not gonna say same i never met him before but i can only conclude that he had a very similar mentality that a lot of my people when i say my people i mean people of color everybody that's not asian and everybody that's not white have when they get some money you must change you have to change you have to change you have to when you get money you don't have to be all hollywood but at the end of the day what ended King Von's life? Not a bullet. Not a fight. The fact that he was so committed, not to an image and not to a culture, but to a code that came with that culture. You could still be from where you're from. You could still have that same love for the environment that you came up in. But you cannot respond the same way. You cannot, you cannot play football on a soccer field. You cannot play basketball on a football field. That's not how life works. You cannot be a millionaire and act like you did when you were not a millionaire. That just does not work. That didn't work. It didn't work. It's not, this is not a pop smoke situation. This is not a, this is a, this is a situation that we run into every day. Now, if somebody would have did something to make him a less valuable person, got in the way of his bag, got in the way of him interacting with his family how he wanted to, that I could see him resorting to violence. But somebody's most likely, again, I wasn't there, but... I come across these situations on a daily basis. Somebody probably said something. Somebody probably spoke out of their mouth something that he didn't agree with. Nobody did anything for him to lose money. Nobody did anything to put him in a situation where he couldn't see his family or leave the state or, or he was going to be in jail. Nobody did anything like that. If he wouldn't have got in that fight, he would have had the same amount of money. He would have had the same opportunity to see his family and serve his community. But the reason that he is no longer with us serving the people, because he was a servant, he wasn't just an artist. He wasn't just a rapper. If he hadn't gotten in that fight, he would have had the same amount of money, the same amount of freedom, the same amount of liberty, but he went back to what he only knew. What he knew was a deadly mentality, a mentality that took his life. We have to change as a spiritual people from month to month, from season to season. Some of us from day to day. You cannot do the same magic that you did in Mars that you do for Gemini. It's not going to be as effective. You cannot use the same. You can if you want, but the energy it's not gonna be, it's gonna take more effort for you to utilize that energy. We cannot 
use a basketball mentality on the football field, bro. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Am I saying that you should just walk around and let everybody disrespect you so you could keep your money and so you could be... No, that's not what I'm saying. But if you deal with these same type of people in these same type of situations the same, you're going to get the same type of results. You're going to get the same type of results. Now we got somebody that obviously has mental health issues behind bars because of a fist fight. I was always taught as a young age, at a young age, because I, I like to fight. I love to fight. I should have actually been a boxer or did some MMA or something because I really enjoyed <laughs> fighting a lot. And I didn't understand that fighting could ultimately result in somebody never getting up again. And I, I always thought, okay, well, what is the likelihood of somebody falling down and breaking their neck or hitting their head or somebody accidentally getting punched in the sternum and or getting hit in the neck? Like, what is the likelihood of that? The likelihood is very low. That doesn't really happen too much. People get their arteries this and their veins that and some kind of concussion. That, re that usually doesn't happen. But there's always one person who does not agree with getting beat up and walking away. This is why, this is one of the reasons why social media is so destructive. Because somebody was probably filming this event. There were cameras on the premises and somebody would have gained clout and somebody would have lost clout. King Von beats up local Atlanta rapper and he loses 10,000 Instagram followers in five minutes. That's what would have happened. Then King Von would have made a video and he would have made a song and he went and made a video for the song. And then three months later, nobody would have knew about it. And then a year later, we would have been talking about it because it popped up on our Facebook memories. The second part of this video is the part where it gets hypocritical. Never compromise your code. King Von lost his life because he could not separate himself from the mentality of, I don't want to use the words, keeping it real. Because there's nothing real about getting in a fist fight and losing your life. That's the fakest thing you can do, especially when you don't have to do that. Especially when you're not in the trenches, especially when you're not fighting for territory or money. That's what I was always taught, bro. Do not do anything to put yourself in jail or in a bad situation unless it's for some money. If I hear that you did something and you went to jail for it and it was not about money, then I'm not going to respect you the same. If you're going to get in a bad situation, let it be about some money. Not because somebody called you a name and you got your feelings hurt. Not because... No, bro. No. We gotta understand that your code and what you stand for, what you live for, that's one of the things in life that are the most important. But in this situation, it didn't save his life. His pride, his respect, all of that, it's up in the air now. King Von did about uh, not even a quarter of what he was capable of. On the microphone, for the industry, for the people, he was going places. He was going places and now he's not. What I can take from the situation is When you elevate, when you go from one level to another, your code should stick with you. That's one of the many things, the few things that should stick with you. But at the end of the day, where we go, our codes can't always come with us. And it's unfortunate that we have to learn that in this way. I'm not going to speak on the fact that he was speaking death in his music and he was talking about smoking this and smoking that. I don't want to talk about that. That's normal. That's what everybody's going to say. 
Because a lot of people speak peace in their music. Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix. And they didn't get peace back. They didn't get peace in return. John Lennon got shot. What happened was not a result of him speaking death into existence. What happened was him bringing death wherever he went with his mentality. People say what they say about me and things don't get deadly because I don't care because words don't affect me because words don't they don't put me in a position where I can't get more money and take care of myself and forget about it. You could ask around. The only time that I've ever really gotten in any kind of disagreement or argument or beef or whatever was over somebody messing with my money or my family. And that's a fact because Everything else is just not worth it. Never compromise your code. But at the end of the day, your code should evolve with you, not against you. That's it, man. Again, RIP uh, King Vaughn and Sarah Moses. I'm the band, you the band, we the band together, man. Protect yourself. Protect yourself with knowledge. Protect yourself with growth. Protect yourself with wisdom. And if you really want to understand something, and always 360 degrees, protect yourself with the facts. Peace.